Nice to see you again. Dr. Samita, nice to see you. I believe we've met before, right? Yes. Just a second. All right. So how can we help you today? Mm-hmm. Yes, I can definitely see that. Just over here, your left eye, um, it looks quite red and maybe even a little swollen there. Okay, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Just gonna ask you a few questions first, okay? When's the last time you had your physical uh, checkup? Yeah, yeah. I do seem to recall that. Okay. Now, did you get something in your eye? Some chemical or some kind of foreign body? Perhaps you were using a face mask and a little bit got in. No. Now, uh, when did you notice that your red eye first started? Yesterday? Yesterday morning? Okay, so it's been, what, like 36 hours or so? Okay, yeah, you are my last patient today, that's true. And have you been sick recently? Any kind of viral infection, upper respiratory tract infection? You know? Good. Have you been in touch with anyone who is sick? No one at home? Good. Have you been outside in the sun at all? Haven't had much of a chance to go outside? Isn't that all of us? Okay. So just by those questions I can start to rule a few, th a few things out, actually. Yeah. Mm hmm Now, did you cough or strain yourself in any way before the uh, red eye started? No? Okay, so I can start to rule out subconjunctival hemorrhage, but not entirely. And... Okay. You don't have high blood pressure, do you? Well, we can check that as well, for sure, for sure. And have you noticed any discharge? A little bit, okay. It's what color? Is it white, watery, yellow? Yellow discharge. And, um... Remind me, aren't you wearing contacts? 
You do? Uh-huh. Are you wearing them right now? Oh, you took them out after your eyes started um, having some pain? Okay, okay. Uh, now, would you describe your pain as a burning sensation? Yeah. Okay, so I'm kind of ruling it down a little bit to four potential options, but still trying to rule out any serious diagnoses. Have you had any dull and aching pain in your eye? No, that's good. Okay. Any sharp pains? No. Have you noticed any change in your vision? No, that's good. We can definitely check that as well. So that's an important sign. Um, have you noticed any halos around lights? No. And we can check that later in a bit as well. Okay. Have you had any itching? No. Any double vision when you open your eyes? When you're waking up, do you find that your eyelids, your eyelashes are matted? Yes. Okay. Any nausea, vomiting, or abdomen pain? No. Good. Are you taking any medications at the moment? No medications. Okay. Good. Do you have rheumatoid arthritis? No, not that you know. Okay. Do you have any spondyloarthropathies, uh, such as ankylosing spondylitis, for example? No. Any fevers? Okay. All right. Well, that's it for now. Uh, do you have any questions that you have for me, or any additional symptoms that you've noticed that you want me to know? Okay. Okay. Well, we'll begin with some vitals and then move on to pertinent tests, okay? Let's start with vitals. Please open up your mouth. In the meantime, I'm just going to take your pulse. Thirty-seven for your temperature. Seventy beats per minute for your heart rate, and eighteen breaths per minute. All normal. No signs of infection so far. That's good. Are you feeling comfortable? I'm gonna use this arm up here, okay?
Good. Can you please raise your hand and pump your fist ten times just like this? Just relax your hand on mine. Good. Let's take that off. So you don't have high blood pressure. Blood pressure is one, one fifteen over seventy five, which is very normal, very healthy. So next, um, I'm going to be putting on some gloves, and let's just get some gloves on. One second. Most likely what you have is conjunctivitis. I see it fairly often in my practice. So we definitely want to make sure that we're not um, passing whatever bacteria you have to anyone else or to me either. Just look straight at me. going to look at your eyelids first. Okay. Right there. Good. Okay. I don't see any signs of styes or chalazians over here. Also looking for anything on your Lash line around the bottom here, any kind of cellulitis. Which I think we're just fine. Now let's take a look a little bit closer. Just grabbing my light. I just want to see if there's any abrasions of the cornea. Just looking at. Any shadows there? Okay. Other side. Or any shadows of the iris? Any buildup? Exudate? Okay. Any sensitivity to this light? No. Any double vision or halos? No? Good. Okay. Just gonna look at your sclera too. And um, the episclera. Okay. Can you please look up for me? I'm gonna pull down your lids here. Oh yes. It's very, very red over here on the left side. And I want to make sure I'm not, you know, transferring any bacteria from your left side to the right side, if that's what it is. We don't want to spread it over to your healthy eyes, so... Okay. Okay. 
Now, can you look down for me? I'm just gonna look at the conjunctive over here. Okay, and up here. Okay, we're good. So I haven't seen any injections of the sclera or the cornea, the iris or anything like that. No issues with the eyelids or the lash lines other than that discharge that you were talking about. The main issue it seems is with the conjunctiva. Okay, so that, that's, that's a good thing. At this point in terms of conjunctiva, we've pretty much ruled it down to either allergic conjunctivitis, bacterial conjunctivitis or viral conjunctivitis. And then within the bacterial, we can have just regular bacterial um, or we can have gonococcal or chlamydial. But since you've said that yours is pretty acute, it started yesterday, it's not a chronic condition, I would rule out chlamydia. When it comes to gonococcal, it tends to be hyperacute, so I would rule that as well. Most likely is bacterial. But I do want to do a couple more tests just to be on the safe side, making sure that you don't have any red flags, okay? And I'll explain everything as we go. Okay. I want to just use the bottom here of this pupil gauge, you see? And uh, use it to kind of gauge how large your pupils are on each side. I want to make sure that there aren't any issues with the cranial nerves there. So just going to measure, okay. So about a three there. Good. The other side. Three, that's good. So no anascore right there. And I'm going to check your pupillary um, constriction reaction. Just checking to make sure that you have your direct and consensual pathways, which tell me about the optic nerve and the oculomotor nerve function. Very good. No issues there. Okay. I'm gonna check your corneal like reflex as well. So just look straight there. Now I'm going to do a near reaction convergence test, okay? So I want you to look at my pen and then behind the wall, back at the pen, behind on the wall, back at the pen, closer, closer, closer. Good. Convergence is not an issue there. So no problems with the extraocular muscles. Um, but I do also want to check H test is really important. So for this part, I want you to follow the light, okay? We're just going to do an H test. Now, I don't want you to move your head. Just move your eyes and follow the light. Okay? Good. Good. Okay, good. Don't move your head, just move your eyes. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. 
Good job, so far. And back down. Very good job. Good. Okay. Now we're going to do the peripheral visual fields test. Please close your eyes, this one over here, so your right eye, and I want you to stare at my eye over here with your left eye, okay? Let me know when you see my wiggling fingers, good. When do you see my fingers, good. And when do you see my fingers, very good. We're going to stick to the same eye. Let me know when you see my fingers. Good. When do you see them? Good. Good. Switching eyes. Yep. Good. Yep. Don't move your eye. Keep looking at mine. Perfect. No defects in any of the peripheral visual fields. So no hemianopsia. Okay. I'm gonna keep evaluating your optic nerve. we're going to use a snow and chart. Keep it 14 inches away from you and we're going to evaluate your visual acuity, okay? So why don't you close your uh, left eye, use your right eye and tell me what do you see here in this line? Mm-hmm. Three. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay, move to the line below here. Same eye. Three, seven, good. Eight, yep. Yeah. Two, yeah. Six, good. Perfect. Now, can we work on the one, on the lowest line? Twenty twenty vision on your right eye. Now let's do your affected eye. Again, we're gonna start maybe here, and I'm gonna have you work backwards this time, okay? So, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try that one again. Okay. So you're having a little bit of trouble with this one. Let's go one up and then that way, okay? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So you do have 20, um, 20, 30 vision in your affected eye. Is that your usual prescription? For contacts? You wear colored contacts, okay. Okay. So usually your your vision's actually 2020 on both eyes. Alright, so a slight diminishing of your vision 
in the affected eye, the left eye, which, okay, I mean, yeah, do you think it's because of the discharge? I guess that could be why as well, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Okay. But I do definitely want to take a look into your eye just in case, making sure that there's no issues with your optic nerve, okay? We don't want to miss any red flags when it comes to your eyes because blindness is not something we want. Not to scare you or anything, but I definitely don't want any of my patients, um, you know, having a risk of blindness when that risk can be prevented altogether. So, here's the fun part. Start with your unaffected eye, okay? Can you look straight ahead right there? Okay. Gonna come right up close. I see a red light reflex and I wanna see are in veins, good. No nicking and then converging towards the Optic disc. There we go. Beautiful. A nice creamy color. The cup to disc ratio is good. 0.4. No blurry outlines. And I'm looking for any exudate or any. retinal hemorrhages. No. Okay, can you look straight into straight into my ophthalmoscope just for a second? Okay. Macula fovea look good. I'm gonna come over to this side, okay? Same thing. I'll use my other eye so that we don't bump noses. Okay, red light red. Yeah, I d Okay. Cup looks good. Nice cup of disc ratio. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely take a break for a second. For sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Should try a different... this. Ready? Okay, I can um, clean that up for you a little bit. Come back in. On this side. Okay. One second, I need to just. It's better. Red light reflex present, going closer, looking for your arteries and veins, no nicking coming. Closer to the optic disc. Beautiful cream color, no blurry outline, good. No atrophy. Okay, a little bit of melanin around it, completely normal. The rest of your retina is a nice orange color. No drusen spots, no cotton wool spots, no exudates. 
No hemorrhaging. And now look straight into my lid for two seconds. Macrophobia look good as well. How are you feeling? Okay. Now that's it for my assessment. Okay, do you have any questions at all? No? Good? Okay. Alright. Based on my subjective and objective observations and, um, and my assessment as well, my top diagnosis for you is bacterial conjunctivitis, okay? Now this was most likely due to, you know, you rubbing your eyes, the contact lenses that you wear, perhaps they weren't as clean as possible. Mm-hmm. Yes, you definitely have to make sure that they're sterile, okay? Use a sterile solution. Yeah, if yours is only one time use and one time use only, don't use it again. And do not fall asleep with your contact lenses in, okay? Okay? Good. What I have for you are some drops. Antibacterial drops, okay? So I'm just gonna have you actually just lean back for me. gonna put some antibacterial eye drops in your eyes, okay? And I'll leave this to you as well, so you can add it in five times a day until you feel better, okay? okay. Blink. Yeah, you only need to put it in your infected eye, unless you start having symptoms in your other eye as well. Good. Blink. get back up now. <laughs> That's alright too. Like I said, you are my final patient, so you're more than welcome to just relax for a bit while I finish up my notes, okay? Alright. Okay. Sounds good. And I'll write down the instructions for the eye drops. Also give you a prescription if you need it. Okay, just in case. It might take. It shouldn't take too long. I I imagine it would go away in, in just a few days. But um, if it does does end up being chronic, say it's chlamydial, then it's going to take a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah. And if you notice that you have any other symptoms such as blurred vision or any kind of um, halos around your eyes, any, you know, peripheral visual, peripheral visual defects, any pain other than the burning sensation you've been feeling, any itchiness, anything like that, just come right in, okay? Give us a call. Any fever, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, any of that, let me know right away, okay? And I'll write all that down for you too.
you later.